What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to yet another fish filled video. I'm down at the river. I got the uh, sudden urge to try to catch some trout dinner. It's about four o'clock. We've got the spinning rod. Got a couple deep holes. We're gonna be walking down that way. And we're gonna see if we can catch some trout. Throwing rooster tails, rapalas, things like that. Let's get them. Guys, so I kind of missed the report on this, but here's the first one. Just got a nice rainbow. Stoned him real quick. My brother was FaceTiming me, so I um, forgot to record everything. But nice rainbow, good eating size. So we're gonna bag him up. I also forgot my knife, I left out the car. But, uh, I am hunting, bro. I am hunting the fish. Now today I'm gonna be moving pretty fast in terms of pace and what spots I'm fishing. I'm just gonna keep walking, casting in new zones. Mainly because this is fall, trout are aggressive, water temps are way down. This water's pretty cool right now. It feels probably about low 50s high 40s so they're not going to mind a fast retrieve and yeah it's basically going to be the tactic and hopefully we hook into some really nice fish that that rainbow is pretty nice uh, not too bad under that tree looks like a, a fish to me oh there we go hey called it Oh, I spit it. You guys probably saw him jump though. Oh, there we go. Got one on. It's like a little guy. Very little guy. A little brown. In for the bite. And back he goes. There we go. Got one on. What do we got? Looks like a rainbow. Not a bad one. Don't know if I would consider that one totally keeper size. Gonna let this one go. I really only like to keep the uh, a little bit bigger than this, but it's a good size nonetheless. Beautiful rainbow. God, look at those spots. Beautiful blue spots. Wow. There it goes. All right. All of my trout fishermen out there are going to say, what the fuck? They're going to be pulling their hair out, but I'm going to start throwing this little, little pointer. SP pointer. Uh, try to get it down deep. See if the trout like it. Yeah, generally this would be considered a way over aggressive bait for trout, but honestly, I've seen bigger swim baits and glide baits and pointers like this get bit by huge brown trout. So. I would like huge brown trout, so I'm going to throw it. Oh, there we go. I'm on. It works. It works. Oh, no. He came off. Ah, damn it. 
Damn it. All right, well, that's the proof right there, guys. SP minnow for trout. If you're fishing around aggressive trout, like in Montana, um, not in SoCal, unless you're fishing really good deep lakes, um, the SP minnow, that's where it's at. Try it. You'll be surprised. Yeah, the SoCal trout, most of them are going to be planted. Um, and they're just not as aggressive. They, they deal with higher water temperatures. Oh, damn it, it was a nice one. There we go, there we go. Got a big one, got a big one. This is a good one. Oh boy. On the SP, what did I tell you guys? Oh yeah, it's a nice brown. Choke it. It's coming in easy, it's coming in easy. Oh, yes! Woo! <laughs> what did I tell you guys? SP Minnow. Use it. God. Check this out, guys. Holy shit. He choked that thing. Oh my god. Is that a. What? Look at that. Are you kidding me? Is, it, is this not enough to convince you guys? The SP Minnow. That's a beautiful brown trout. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap up this little session right here. Uh, it was a good one. Um, got that rainbow that was off camera. And uh, caught a, another small brown trout, a decent rainbow trout, and then ended right there on that nice brown trout. So um, overall, yeah, it was a good time. Um, the lures were the inline spinner and the uh, SP minnow. Those work great, great fall time baits and stuff like that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll see you on the next one.